Hey, what's up, Eric? How's it going? Oh, it's going. It's going? What are you, what are you doing right now? Is that an oil pan? I am welding up one of our oil pans today, yes. Nice. All right, so this is a multi-release ordeal. We're basically still in the pre-production phase where we welded up, or we machined up 10 units so that we can get a little bit more data and a little bit more feedback from other customers on what's going on and what they see on their cars because Brian and Tor only run specific setups. Uh, and then there's some other people that are gonna be running a little bit more downforce, stickier tires, that type of stuff. So. We're trying to get more people involved, more data, before we spend a lot of money to get these units cast. So that's the ultimate like goal, is casting these units because this is a cast part. This looks like a nice cast part. We're doing this to keep our costs down. We're doing this to speed up development process. We're doing this to get more units out there in the wild faster. We have a very long lead time to get the first units out in the wild, where if we do some machined units like this, we can probably do it in less than a month. So it really depends on uh, what we see with the first units and the time frame that people want these units in. Uh, but we're happy to do these machined units and continue to do them to get them out there faster. But uh, the, the final goal is casting them. Uh, we've shipped out five pans so far in the United States and I believe one to Canada. If you want to be a part of this and support the R&D effort, be sure to email us, sales at veris-engineering.com. And as we weld up these final 10 units, we'll be shipping them out to people that have shown interest and that can help us gather some more data. Hey guys, I'm Matt. Um, I've been doing most of the product design for the oil pan. And some of you guys have been nice enough to send in 3D scans of your aftermarket headers. And we're kind of working through importing them into the model and checking to see how well they fit. So let's take a look. So this is the factory header with the heat shields removed. This one fits, obviously. No surprises there. Um, Next up, this is the JDL unequal length, and it's, it's actually extremely close. It's, it's interfering a little bit right here, but, but that's super close, so that's kind of cool. Um, this is the map header. Um, it unfortunately is interfering in a whole bunch of different places. Uh, you can see inside the pan that it's it's, it's in there. And this, someone scanned like their, their whole car practically. Um, this is an HKS header from their turbo kit. Um, aside from the fact that we don't have an oil return on the pan yet, uh, it, looks, it looks pretty good. It looks like it's got lots of clearance. So, so currently we've got a handful of, I guess what we call pre-production pans, um, and we're kind of trying to get them into some hands of early adopters to do a little bit more testing and get some more feedback. So we're still working on a final version of this pan, and we may be able to make some tweaks here and there to accommodate some other options, but we'll see where it goes. The thing that makes the scans easiest for us is if it's scanned off of the car. Um, this JDL one was pretty good. We got, um, we got a really good view of the, the flange here to take a reference plane from as well on this side. And we've got a good uh, reference of the studs in the head. So that really helps line everything up when we bring it into our assembly. We appreciate the time that everyone's taken to send us in scans. And uh, hopefully if there's some more options people wanna see, we can get some more in the near future. Thanks for following along with part three of our oil pan update. Eric and I are gonna to continue to iron out the final details. 
keep the scans, questions, and comments coming. It's, uh, it's cool to see what's out there, and we can keep checking out scans. Until next time, talk to you later.